Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. What we're going to talk to you today about is some basic end of season maintenance that you're going to want to do to your bow. Hopefully you're going to keep shooting your bow all winter long, indoor leagues, whatever, before you get into turkey season. But if you're someone who hangs up your bow for the winter, uh, there's some things you want to check so you're not surprised when you pull it back out again. Obviously, probably the main thing that's going to uh, have taken a beating during the season is your string. You're going to want to look over your string real closely, your string and your cables, uh, and just look for any signs of discoloration. If it's a lighter color, that usually means it's drying out. Look for, check all the spots where the serving is and look for serving separation. Uh, if you're like me and you're a tree stand hunter, you're hauling your bow up and down from the tree stand. Okay, so I connect my bow by the top limb when I raise it and lower it. That means every time I go up and down a tree, it's coming off my bottom cam. So if there's a potential for damage, it's going to be down here. So I want to look at it to see if there's any serving separation, any potential dings in my cam. I can definitely tell there's some wear here, but it's not too bad. Uh, but if there's serving separation, then this is going to be a bow where you're going to want to get a new set of strings and cables either now or plan on it before the hunting season starts. So if, if this looks like a string that you can keep uh, f through the next season, just give it a shot of string wax. That never hurts. That's always a good idea. Make sure it doesn't dry out anywhere and it's important only put string wax on exposed string material in other words don't put it over any serving anywhere there's serving you don't want to have string wax on there so and check every little area hit every spot where there's exposed string on these matthews halon series you've got exposed string up here in the harness don't neglect those those get somewhere so just run some string wax all over these areas you should be checking this all season anyway, but especially now is a good time to do it, are your limbs. Just run your finger over the edges of the limbs. What you want to feel for is any kind of cracks or splintering. Uh, that's the start of a crack. That's something bad. Uh, just check out every limb, uh, every limb edge to see if you can feel anything. Uh, if you find a crack, that's a limb that you're going to want to replace. So that's something you want to do before next season. PJ, can I give you a tip? Yes. When, they, when you do that, yes. when you take your bow apart, if you take rubbing alcohol on all the screws, it'll take the rust off. Oh. Ah, there you go. All right. It evaporates, so it takes all the moisture out. Mm-hmm. Good one, Dale. Here's an area that you may not think about too much, but how often do you take your sight off? I don't ever take my sight off. Well, there could be moisture trapped behind my sight bar. So I take that off, look in here. If there's any uh, rust in there, I can hit that with some rust remover. Uh, get that out of there before next season. You don't want rust to spread, and that's the only thing it does. So uh, at your rest, how does your rest look? You got any cracks or anything in there that you need to check? Look, look over all the bolts, check for rust, just the same. Stabilizers, connections, you know, pop those stabilizers off. Check to make sure everything looks in good shape. Uh, side rods if you got them. Basically, it's just time to completely inspect your bow, everything. Uh, quiver mount, uh, you know, we've been taking these things out uh, many days this season, all kinds of weather, anything can happen probably not paying a whole lot of attention to it like we should, so now's the time to do it. So that's all there is to it as far as end of season maintenance. If you got any questions, you can always visit us at LancasterArchery.com.